All right. So we can start sharing. Yeah, I'll get my screen. Okay, can you hear, see already the uh, the notes? Sorry, the the textbook. Yes, sir. All right. So let's do this type of problem. We're last time we are in the uh, trig integral, so special uh, some special form of uh, integral, trig integrals, uh, usually in this form. Uh, sine with power, cosine with power, uh, the same trick here. Uh, that depends on the whether m uh, odd or even. Okay, so the, the product, sine power, cosine with power. So again, that is the, uh, depends on the, uh, the even or odd, called the parity of the, the power. Uh, See, this is the uh, the product product of sine and cosine sine sine or cosine cosine okay with some uh, some frequency here it might be different frequencies or maybe same okay and this has a uh, uh, interpretations later and similar to one is the sine and cosine is called the, the say say they like partners okay sine cosine like you have a sine square plus cosine square equals one uh, similarly you have tangent and uh, tangent and secant okay they are, they are partners okay so here's we have power of tangent this is power of uh, cotangent and here you have, uh, here's partners, power of tangent, tangent, power of secant. So, same trick. Okay, so uh, just show you uh, using from, from the, the textbook already. So you just uh, read the textbook and do the exercise. I would like to show you how to use this one here, for example. Let's repeat this computation in detail. All right, here. Sine to x cosine three x. Uh, this is the the uh, the formula that we need in, in this case, this type of problems. For example, this one here. Three x. All right. So without. Uh, uh, without these formulas, what we do here, because let's see here, if you integrate, I'm sorry, if you take derivative of sine and cosine, they're just switching uh, back and forth. Sine becomes cosine, cosine becomes sine, and plus the, the, uh, the, yeah, the sines, okay, plus or minus. All right, so let's, uh, first I'd like to do this using, uh, partial by parts, integration by parts, so partial integrations. In that case, okay, so in this case, uh, we choose, say, whatever you, you start with, uh, it doesn't matter. 
and dv equals to cosine 3x dx. Uh, so you have the du equals 2 cosine 2x and v this integral uh, becomes uh, one third sine three x. Okay, so if you integrate by parts, so this integrals becomes. Let's see uh, what we have here. So u u v. So one third sine 2x uh, sine 3x all right and minus integral so this is uh, this is uv so this is two thirds see oh sorry u times v is one third U times V is one third, V du, so one third, uh, sine, uh, let's see, cosine two X, uh, V du, sorry, V du is this, so two thirds, cosine two X, and sine three x dx. All right, and again you get something like this one. Okay, so in this case, let's do another integration by part for this one. Okay, so we let now u is cosine two x. Okay, and dv is sine 3x dx. So du equals derivative of cosine, so 2, negative 2. Uh, what is this? Cosine sine 2x, so this derivative. So dx, right, it should be dx then. Okay. And V is negative one third cosine three X. Okay. So then what we have so far is this one. So if we rewrite this, all right. So this is sine two X, sine three X, two thirds, all right. So here we compute u times v. Okay, so uh, the this is u times v. That's uh, negative one third uh, cosine two x cosine three x. Okay, subtract integral of v du. It's negative 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 so it remains negative but this is two thirds sine two x cosine three x dx okay okay so let's see here our original problem is this So what we see here is that um, 
if you see this integral sine 2x cosine 3x here you get the same integral all right so the integral v appears on the on the right hand side so what you do here is remove this integral to left hand side okay so how many things we have now so we have now this is one this is let's see it's negative negative so plus four ninth plus because minus uh, there and the rest is just this one one third two x plus this two nine cosine two x cosine three x plus b okay so you put C here or there later on, it doesn't matter. So here we have, uh, so this is 5, 9. Just later. So this gives you this integral. It's just, uh, so this is, So that's all right. So one third five x sine three x plus two nine. Okay, so this is not the, this formula is not the only, uh, the only uh, way to do this integral. See? You can do this integral using uh, more elementary methods. All right, but if you, to the light of this uh, formula, so what can you do? This is a product of sine and cosine. So we, sh uh, we should be able to use this one here. Okay. And if you use that, so here M equals, so I just use this one. So this is M equals two and equals three. Right, so it's one half of sum of sine sum sine difference. Okay, so let's uh, rewrite this. This is divided by partial two. Now let me rewrite this. M x cosine or the other way around. Sine M right. One half. Uh, sine sine. So sum. Okay, so in this case, we have sine 2x or sine 3x is just one half of the sine 
some of the angle. Okay. And sign of difference. Okay. Uh, in this case, two minus three. Okay. So in this case, sign because sign is odd. So it's become one half. It's become sign x seven. So in this case, this would be very easy. So integral of just one half integral of sine five x minus sine x. Let's yes, give you uh, integral of sine, so negative cosine. So one fifth cosine x. This is negative integral sine, so it becomes plus uh, sine cosine. There. Okay. And the important thing is that this is pretty much different from what we have here. Okay. This is much simpler. Oh, sorry. This should be 5x. Okay. In fact, here you should uh, still have to, uh, if you use the, the formula above, you still be able to simplify this sine 2x times sine 3x. Okay. And factorizations, those kind of stuff, you, you get it. Right? So this is one of the difficulties of doing integrations because uh, different methods may give you different answers. All right? Or even same method, but different, uh, different way of choosing U and V, for example, gives you a different answer. Right and equally equally correct. Okay, so pretty much depend on whether what you uh, doing is valid or not. All right, as long as it's valid, then it's both the answer is correct. Okay, any questions? All right, and just one note here that the uh, so uh, this this term sine uh, sine two x is cosine three x whatever that's uh, represents waves of with frequency here frequency two this is frequency three right so sine m x or cosine ax uh, both are sinusoidal of frequency m or a in physics this kind of product it is what we call modulations okay so for example what modulations so for example i give you an example here for example, you have uh, sine, uh, say sine x times sine of, uh, uh, say, what, what is this? Say 
for x. What you have is something that looks like this one here. Okay. Say you have from zero pi to pi. Okay. So sin x looks like this one here. So sine 4x is a wave, but with the, say this is frequency four. So you have, here you have only one wave uh, inside the, uh, the interval zero to two pi. Here you have four of them. So you have two here and then two between pi and two pi. Okay, so what is the modulus is given by the previous one. So something that you should uh, instead, so that's one. So instead of this one, so Okay, so this is the sine for x, and then you repeat this one. Okay. So the modulations is this one here. See, so the right. So the modulation means that. Uh, Here it becomes this. Okay. So that's the product. The modulus of this sine for x is determined by sine x. So the product. So you have. Uh, this sinusoidal four frequency four inside the frequency one. Frequency one. Okay. So something that you should look at. Probably something that you you get picture like this, and you have a bunch of those so waves inside this. This is called modulation of waves. Between one is actually the uh, sin x times sine four x. Okay, so what about sine times cosine? Well, it's just different in phase, initial phase difference. Okay, but basically the same. Okay, and if we go back to this, uh, the textbook. One important thing is that later on you 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 learn in in approximations a lot of engineering calculations. If you modulate a sine and it's another sine, right? If uh, if with different frequency. If you do the, this integral from minus pi to two pi, so the it's uh, periodicity, periodicity. 
can you should always get zero okay so if that's not zero then this gives you something if sorry if the same frequency then you get something but if it's a different frequency then you get always zero uh, this is the the conditions that you should integrate this between left and right side of periodicity okay so you see that's in general you can think this is frequency frequency if m and n are different then you get a zero here but if the uh, M and L same, you get something positive. Okay, so later on in engineering, you call it Fourier, Fourier approximations in numerical, so the fast Fourier transform. This, this is what you need, what you compute. See here, this is modulations. Uh, let me see. I'm going to modulate. Okay. All right, so this is the same trick, just uh, I'll let you read this stuff a little by yourself. Okay, and even with the with the rational power, you still can do this one. All right. Other method called rationalizing substitutions. Okay. So in the mathematical term, radicals is um, meaning roots so whatever uh, second root so that's a regular root third root cube root whatever or so uh, expression containing as this is called radicals okay so we we try to get rid of this the, the root sign so the make the integrants easier Okay, so especially we would like to compute this one here. So radical containing this expression, AX plus B. And radicals containing, so the, the root can be, can be N equals two, N equals three, it doesn't matter, okay or even uglier, it is five. And later on, you integrate with the, some quadratic here. Okay, review substitutions. So let's do uh, this one first.
ับทีเป็นสวรรค์So basically, what we uh, the term radicals in math that is roots. So in general, and so this is square root. That radicals in general. So the purpose of rationalizing substitutions is to getting rid of these radicals. Okay, and using substitutions. All right, so example, and there are two things to get a form. Very close. First is in the form of, uh, let's see. So this linear. And the second is you have quadratic. Uh, here we have okay. This is what we uh we do. Okay, so just examples. Um, that's one integral of the x, x plus there. All right, the fact that it appears in the uh, denominators, and that's the, the, the trouble something. So if possible, we want to get rid of this square root of x okay so let's do this substitution by this one let's see uh, let uh let's see what is this uh, let's see v equals square root of x then we have u square is it's just x all right then and if we derivative of this take the derivative so in thermal forms we have 2u du okay why 2 2 u du here because we take derivative of this and u is a function so chain rule gives you this one and equals to dx, right, uh, from here. Okay, so uh, if you do substitutions, this gives you, okay, let's see. So here on the top, you have dx, dx is to u du. Here, x, x is just, u square, that is just plus u. All right, so this one you can simplify. So this is just uh, cross out that uh, u. So, uh, so u.
and then that's easy. Yes, yes, L N. Let's give you L N, and then so when you substitute back, U is. So you see here that's in the uh, this form there are no radicals anymore okay so why we use this u equal to this well because we want to get rid of this s square root okay let's do uh, more examples I'll just show you from here. Okay, so okay, just quickly. Uh, x times cube root of x minus four. Okay, so if we, we want to get rid of this cube root, so let u equals this cube root and raise u to the cube now. So we, this uh, just x minus four. Okay, so here we have, uh, the radical is gone. Okay, take derivative. So here, because u is a function, so you use chain rule. So you have 3u square du. Okay, here you have just one. Okay, and substitute. All right, so x here is just, let's see, x, you solve x from here, so u cube plus four here, and this becomes u times dx, dx is three u squared du. All right, so what you get is just polynomial, which you can uh, integrate easily, right? So this is what you get. Okay. This one, for example, we want to get rid of fifth root. So let's see this fifth root. So forget the, the, the square. Of course, you can do to put the square also to, to fifth, but no need to. And you raise to the power of five. You get this one. Substitute x is uh, u to the fifth minus one. See, here's because this is to get the square of u and this is the differential. Right, so this polynomial. Okay. All right, so that's, uh, that's basically uh, what we do with the general radicals uh the th uh, second one is you have when you have quadratic okay uh the quadratic is just this uh, in this form or three forms okay so what's going on with this this one this combinations all right, so let's do some example. Uh, but as a prelude to this one, uh, let's say we use this the substitutions. This you, you what you need to remember here. Okay, so in this case, a square minus x square. What you substitute for x is a times sine x. Okay, so why a times sine x? Because we compute directly going to this one. A square minus x square becomes 
c. You substitute a squared sine t, okay? And you, of course, here, and let's see, uh, you take this uh, a square out and then take root, square root to so get this, right? So you get absolute value of cosine. And if they just a times cosine, um, provided that the cosine is positive, okay? And cosine is positive exactly when t between negative pi over two and pi over two, all right? So this, this restrictions, we need this re restriction so to get rid of this uh, absolute value, okay? So make sure, for example, here in the, in the second one, you have a uh, plus sign. So a square plus x square. So we, we take a uh, tangent square, oh, sorry, tangent, right? Because tangent square here, and take the a square, take the square root, so take a out. One plus tangent square is secant square. Okay, so we have this. And less or negative. So x squared minus a squared, you, you take x equals a secant. Why? Because, so if you substitute, you get a squared secant squared minus a squared. So take this square out. Seek one square plus minus one become tangent square. Okay. And you just have to take care of the differential. Maybe. All right. Examples. Uh, just, you know, let's redo this. Uh, So let's say one minus x squared. All right, so let's do this one. Okay. This is not polynomial. Form, right so there is a in general this kind of kind of integral is uh, difficult in general okay and the trick is using that sub uh, what do you call rationalizing substitutions get rid of this this uh, um, the, the root sign okay so we let uh, x equals, all right, so the x is we, 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 we substitute. This is one, this is, okay. so let x uh, be defined. Uh, why? Be, then what we have is that's equals to one minus sine square of t is just square root of cosine square of t cosine t, right? Assuming cosine is positive.
All right. Okay, and then so this becomes uh, just cosine. Okay, and the dx now. The x is just uh, sine become cosine, cosine t dt. Right. So doing substitutions, we have integral of this is just cosine. Okay, and the x is another cosine. Okay. So integral cosine uh, t dt. Okay. Uh, how to do this one here? So what we do here is just double the use this formula. Recall this formula. Cosine squared t is just one plus cosine two t the double. Okay, so we have one half one plus cosine two t t. All right, so we have t. Okay, plus cosine two t. Uh, integral one t integral of cosine to t sine right? so one half sine to t plus t. All right. So t over two. All right, on this slight problem here, we start with a variable x. Somehow we end up with a variable t. So we should be able to rewrite the t using x. So how we do this one? Well, the thing here is T here is just a, uh, so in this case, T here is just the, uh, how do you express T? What is T? How to write T? T equals what? What uh, kind of x in terms of x? Arc sine x. Yes, so that's the arc uh, sine inverse, right? So. Uh, X. So then it's correct when uh, whenever T is in certain certain angles, right? So this is exactly what you have here. Okay, so let's do this one here. So this equals to one half of, let's see. Okay, uh, but we have problem here a little bit because we need to compute sine of uh, of two t. All right. Okay. Recall this is an angle. Say alpha. Okay. And this is two, two alpha, so that means 
you have double angle formula. Uh, what is that thing? Cosine squared by alright, so have two sine alpha, cosine alpha. Right. So we need to compute sine of this or sine of that, cosine of that. Okay. So what is this? Okay. So we call the the triangle diagram. triangular diagram. All right, so let's see. Alpha is, okay. So here we, we write the, this is alpha. Okay. Um, so, all right, so this says that sine alpha is just uh, x, right? Okay, so sine alpha is the ratio of x over one. So this is x, this is one. So this gives you one minus x square. Okay, so we have sine alpha equal x and cosine alpha is just, let's see, square term one minus x square. Okay, so this is what we have. Plus uh, one fourth of, oh, sorry, one fourth, this is two. So we just one half. This sine alpha is just x times cosine. There. So this is what you get. See, here's the rather amazing thing here because we start with uh, seemingly a simple integral here. Only there a square root, but somehow we end up with something more, much more complicated, involving inverse trig, involving this kind of uh, formulas. Okay. So let's uh, let's take a break here and give you some more example of the this tricks, and then proceed with the the last section of this integration method, which is kind of long. Questions. All right, we'll stop the recording.